You want to activate the operation of enabling grace? Your first assignment is to know the promises. Tonight, I'm not really teaching so much. I believe that my session is a prophetic session. Hallelujah. And I'd like us to participate very fully within the time that we have to share together. Let your heart be opened. I am one person who believes that there are a number of indices that measure the progress or the success of a meeting that was ordained from God and by God. When God steps in, in a meeting, there are certain things that must be there. Number one, there must be encounters. An encounter is a process that crystallizes the reality of a truth to your spirit. Without encounters, there is no basis for conviction. I know whom I believed and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him even against that day. Number two, there must be transformation. This is one of the major assignments of the world, like it just happened to us, a reorientation. Transformation is not just another idea, it's a word compliant idea. You can have another wrong idea, it is not transformation. Transformation is not so much about newness of information, but the godliness of that information. Hallelujah. Number three, I believe that in any meeting like this, there must be an opportunity for God to reveal his love and his power in the midst of his people. Whilst it is true that uh, when we come to him, we come, number one, because we love him and that we desire to be changed. But the Bible teaches us that the character of fatherhood is not just in having children, but your benevolence. If ye being evil, know how to give good gifts. Is that true? That means if we converge like this, there must be space where the Spirit of God can minister to the needs of people. And it does not have to be in the conventional way as we know it, but that we factor these as part of the indices that measure the visitation of God over a people. Number four, there must be an opportunity for impartation. Impartation is very powerful. Impartation is the process that allows for transference of spiritual possibilities. Possibilities can be transferred. Are we together now? Yes. It says, ye are all partakers of my grace. A man can be a partaker of another man's grace. So there is more than the sharing of information. Through unity and love, we can open up the spiritual, the rich spiritual investments that we have received and it can be shared abroad so people can go back with graces and dimensions of the spirit they did not come for this meeting with. And then finally, the fifth index is fellowship. Fellowship, sharing together, not just with the Holy Ghost, but with one another. Psalm 133 says, Behold, how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. It likens it to the oil that comes upon the head of Aaron the priest, to his bed, to his cat. He says, there, in that state, not in that place, in that state of unity, God hath commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. 